Hey there viewers and welcome back to Sly 2. We're on the final chapter, so let's beat this bird brain and save the world. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius and it wasn't long before the Claw Gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes. And now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together. And when that happens, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Got a bit of a size complex. Well, it's Sly Cooper and the gang in. Anatomy for Disaster. Alright, now I actually did some more off-screen grinding, and I managed to get nearly 5,000 more coins. So let's see, that's 4,100. That would be exactly 5,000 for these three. So we need to pick and choose our items. Freeze time. Well, that might be a useful Bentley ability. Create a deadly firestorm. Alright, we'll just buy the feral pounce. Jump over vast distances. That sounds very useful. And the fire slam. We'll save the temporal lock for last. And that was 6,000, not 5,000. My math, she is a failing. Apparently, unlike Bentley, I don't always do my math right. And you know, we didn't even get a first mission, did we? We were just thrown on this giant blimp. Wow. Definitely do not want to be falling off this thing. This entire thing's a weapon. We got enemies the size of us. With jetpacks. Oh, great. That's just wonderful. And they don't seem to die. Jesus Christ, man. How powerful they are. This guy's got a rocket launcher. And I guess stilts. Yeah, this is definitely a high-tech area. Definitely much different from the previous areas we've been to. Does not resemble them at all. I am so going to get lost. I know that Da Vinci was ahead of his time, but to think that Arpeggio created a Zeppelin like this thanks to his design is just crazy. That's our headquarters. Um, okay, I guess we'll just continue on to the first mission. We'll figure out what the hell to do later. And we'll worry about the bottles later as well. Damn, this is a big area. And it's a shame that none of these guys have anything to pickpocket either. Oh my god. I think I just be almost beheaded myself right there.
just climb higher and higher. That way, oh, it's on the other side. That way I can get a good vantage point of this entire blimp. Hmm. Wonder if I can climb this thing. No. Actually, you know what? In theory, that should be able to push my paraglider, which it doesn't. Bam. So much for video game theory. Oh, jeez, that is so annoying. They spot you even before they're technically supposed to see you. And I actually want to equip this one ability. Let's see. Actually, no, I prefer it on R2. Combat dodge. I can go there. Whoa. That doesn't really seem like much of a jump. I mean, we've made jumps like that before. Huh. Uh, maybe it's more useful than I think. We'll see. And again, more deadly blades. And I'm completely lost on where I need to go. And how to get up there. Maybe that route. Hmm. Oh, there's a ladder. I actually want to pickpocket these guys just to see what they have to offer. Be something good. I need about 2,000 coins now. Oh, that's the same old crap as before. Give me new stuff. Now again... Oh, there's a wire. I guess if I wait for this thing to even out, I might be able to get on the upper platform. No! Jeez. I can't turn around without getting shot by something or someone. I'm starting to think I need to reevaluate how I play this mission, this chapter. have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find him. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. You know, I don't think it matters how long we take, we're obviously gonna be late. That's just how it always is. So we might as well start preparing for a battle with Clockwork 2.0. And I'm really hoping there's no bottles on this blimp over here. Okay, bad move. Bad move. Okay, try that again. Yeah, but as I was saying, I probably should reevaluate how I do this chapter because if I don't go stealth, I'm gonna get, end up getting attacked every few seconds.